Well, good morning and happy Sunday mornings with Mel. Merry Christmas and it is Christmas Eve. I'm already, I think, um, I have 10 or 11 trees up. So I feel accomplished and I am glad to have gotten all of my ornaments up. This tree right here is in my Noah's Ark room. Everything on it represents Noah and the Ark. And it's something my mom started in the early 80s. And I tell people all the time, if you get me anything, I don't need anything. But if you want to give me something, you can give me a Noah's Ark ornament. And um, that has turned into this. My friend Brenda... 20 years ago, got me this rotisserie for my Christmas tree. I didn't know that I would like it at first, and I absolutely love it because it does let you display absolutely every ornament so people can see it when they come and check out my trees. This morning, I'm going to sing a few songs and talk about our service today, services today, and... Mostly, I just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. But the first song I'm going to sing is called O come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him. Born the King of Angels, O oh, come, let us adore Him. O oh, come, let us adore Him. O oh, come, let us adore Him, Christ the Lord. I don't know. As I look at that going around, I... Honest to God, keep everything in their original boxes and who they came from. And I could probably tell you 90% of them who they came from. And so I think Darlene Mashari's just passed. Punky's just passed. Um, a lot of them came from people when I worked at the bank. And for that, I am forever grateful. Um, I hope that tomorrow, as you celebrate Christmas, that every tree, I mean, every present that you open um, just helps you feel gratitude in your heart for the people who love you that cared enough to go out and get you something that you wanted, needed, that you never would have bought yourself. And yeah, there are those things that you get that, what am I going to do with this? But um, for the most part, it is a great time of actually Thanksgiving next song I'm going to sing is a little childhood favorite. And um, I was talking to Paula, who goes to my church, and we were talking about something that we received in Sunday school as a little kid. And we're about the same age, so I sent her a picture. And this is the little ornament that we got in Sunday school. And it was just nice to cherish those memories of 50 plus years ago and to be able to share that with someone else and the significance because to someone else, this is just a piece of plastic made in Hong Kong. Hi, Winnie. Um, but to us, it is of great sentimental value. And the next song I'm going to sing will be familiar to you all. It comes in two different versions, but this is the one I learned first, so... Away in a manger, no crib for his bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Some of you may, may know this one. 
Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. If some of you just saw that Santa Claus go by, he is holding an ark. So it is consistent. That's the most odd one on there, but I think I bought it myself. So I'm wishing you all a Merry Christmas, a safe season, a Happy New Year, and that's right around the corner, 2024. I'm going to close with my neighbor across the road. It's a favorite um, Christmas carol. She cried every time we sang it, but I know it's her favorite. And this one is dedicated to my dear friend, Marty. And it goes like this. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin, mother and child, holy so tender and mild sleep in heavenly peace sleep in heavenly peace God bless you and I wish you the merriest best memorable Christmas ever God bless you as we celebrate the gift of love. If you're looking for a place to come, St. John's United Church of Christ at 204 Leonard Street in South Amherst, where no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're always welcome to come join us either this morning at 10 or tonight at 9. Tonight's service is going to be a candlelight communion service with lots of um, singing one verse of a bunch of Christmas carols. Hope to see you. Merry Christmas.